Al Imran, Arabic. Al Imran, meaning, the family of Imran, 1, 2, is the third chapter, surah, of the Quran with 200 verses, ayat. Imran in Islam is regarded as the father of Mary. This chapter is named after the family of Imran, which includes Imran, Saint Anne, wife of Imran, Mary, and Jesus. Regarding the timing and contextual background of the believed revelation, Asbab al nuzul the chapter is believed to have been either the second or third of the Medinan surahs, as it references both the events of Bad and the Uhud. Almost all of it also belongs to the third year of the Hydra, though a minority of its verses might have been revealed during the visit of the Najran Christian deputation at the Mubahala, which occurred around the tenth year of the Hydra. Is read did the translation of the Quran, Surah Ali Imran, the family of Imran. Surah Al Imran the family of Imran, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. 3, 1, Alif Lam Mim. These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran and none, but Allah, alone, knows their meanings. 3, 2, Allah. La ilaha illa none has the right to be worshipped, but he, the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists. 3, 3, it is he who has sent down the book, the Quran, to you, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, with truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel. 3, 4, aforetime, as a guidance to mankind, and he sent down the criterion, of judgment between right and wrong, this Quran. Truly, those who disbelieve in the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. of Allah, for them there is a severe torment, and Allah is almighty, all able of retribution. 3, 5, truly, nothing is hidden from Allah, in the earth or in the heavens. 3, 6, he it is who shapes you in the wombs as he pleases. La Allaha illa hua, none has the right to be worshipped, but he, the almighty, the all-wise. 3, 7, it is he who has sent down to you, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, the book, this Quran. In it are verses that are entirely clear, they are the foundations of the book, and those are the verses of al arkam commandments, etc. al fararid obligatory duties, and al hadad legal laws for the punishment of thieves, adulterers, etc. And others not entirely clear, so as for those in whose hearts, there is a deviation, from the truth, they follow that which is not entirely clear thereof, seeking al-fitna, polytheism and trials, etc. And seeking for its hidden meanings, but none knows its hidden meanings save Allah. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, we believe in it. The whole of it, clear and unclear verses, are from our Lord. And none receive admonition except men of understanding. Tafsir at Tabari. 3, 8, they say, Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate from the truth, after you have guided us, and grant us mercy from you. Truly, you are the bestower. 3, 9, Our Lord, verily, it is you who will gather mankind together on the day about which there is no doubt. Verily, Allah never breaks his promise. 3, 10, verily, those who disbelieve, neither their properties nor their offspring will avail them whatsoever against Allah. And it is they who will be fuel of the fire. 3, 11. Like the behavior of the people of Phaon, Pharaoh, and those before them. They belied our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. So Allah seized, destroyed, them for their sins and Allah is severe in punishment. 3, 12, say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, to those who disbelieve, you will be defeated and gathered together to hell, and worst indeed is that place to rest. 3, 13, there has already been a sign for you. O Jews, in the two armies that met, in combat i.e. the battle of Bada, one was fighting in the cause of Allah, and as for the other, they, were disbelievers. They, the believers, Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallamim, the disbelievers, 
with their own eyes twice their number, although they were thrice their number. And Allah supports with his victory, whom he pleases. Verily, in this is a lesson for those who understand. See verse 844. Tafsir at Tabari. 3. 14. Beautified for men is the love of things they covet. Women, children, much of gold and silver, wealth, branded beautiful horses, cattle and well-tilled land. This is the pleasure of the present world's life. But Allah has the excellent return, paradise with flowing rivers, etc., with him. 3. 15. Say. Shall I inform you of things far better than those? For al mutakan the pious. CV 2-2. There are gardens, paradise, with their Lord, underneath which rivers flow. Therein, is their, eternal, home, and aswajin mutaharatan, purified mates or wives. I.e. they will have no menses, urine, or stool, etc. And Allah will be pleased with them. And Allah is all seer of the, his, slaves. 3. 16. Those who say, Our Lord. We have indeed believed, so forgive us our sins and save us from the punishment of the fire. 3. 17. They are, those who are patient ones, those who are true, in faith, words, and deeds, and obedient with sincere devotion in worship to Allah. Those who spend, give the zakat and alms in the way of Allah, and those who pray and beg Allah's pardon in the last hours of the night. 3. 18. Allah bears witness that la ilaha illa hua. None has the right to be worshipped, but he, and the angels, and those having knowledge, also give this witness. He is always, maintaining his creation in justice. La ila illa hua. None has the right to be worshipped, but he, the Almighty, the All-Wise. 3.19. Truly, the religion with Allah is Islam. Those who were given the scripture, Jews and Christians, did not differ except, out of mutual jealousy, after knowledge had come to them. And whoever disbelieves in the ayat proofs, evidences, verses, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah, then surely, Allah is swift in calling to account. 3. 20. So if they dispute with you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, say, I have submitted myself to Allah, in Islam, and, so have, those who follow me and say to those who were given the scripture, Jews and Christians, and to those who are illiterates, Arab pagans, do you, also, submit yourselves, to Allah in Islam. If they do, they are rightly guided. But if they turn away, your duty is only to convey the message. And Allah is all seer of, his, slaves. 3. 21. Verily. Those who disbelieve in the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah and kill the prophets without right, and kill those men who order just dealings, announce to them a painful torment. 3. 22. They are those whose works will be lost in this world and in the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. 3. 23. Have you not seen those who have been given a portion of the scripture? They are being invited to the book of Allah to settle their dispute, then a party of them turn away, and they are averse. 3. 24. This is because they say, the fire shall not touch us but for a number of days, and that which they used to invent regarding their religion has deceived them. 3. 25. How, will it be, when we gather them together on the day about which there is no doubt, i.e. the day of resurrection, and each person will be paid in full what he has earned. And they will not be dealt with unjustly. 3. 26. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, O Allah, possessor of the kingdom, you give the kingdom to whom you will, and you take the kingdom from whom you will, and you endue with honor whom you will, and you humiliate whom you will. In your hand is the good. Verily, you are able to do all things. 3. 27. You make the night to enter into the day, and you make the day to enter into the night, i.e. increase and decrease in the hours of the night and the day during winter and summer. You bring the living out of the dead, and you bring the dead out of the living, and you give wealth and sustenance to whom you will, without limit, measure or account.
3, 28. Let not the believers take the disbelievers as allia, supporters, helpers, etc. Instead of the believers, and whoever does that will never be helped by Allah in any way. Except if you indeed fear a danger from them. And Allah warns you against himself, his punishment. And to Allah is the final return. 3, 29. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. Whether you hide what is in your breasts or reveal it, Allah knows it. And he knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And Allah is able to do all things. 3, 30. On the day when every person will be confronted with all the good he has done, and all the evil he has done, he will wish that there were a great distance between him and his evil. And Allah warns you against himself, his punishment. And Allah is full of kindness to the, his, slaves. 3, 31. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam to mankind. If you, really, love Allah then follow me i.e. accept Islamic monotheism, follow the Quran and the Sunnah, Allah will love you and forgive you of your sins. And Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 3, 32, say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, obey Allah and the Messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. But if they turn away, then Allah does not like the disbelievers. 3, 33, Allah chose Adam, Nu, Noah, the family of Ibrahim, Abraham, and the family of Imran above the Alameen, mankind and jinns, of their times. 3, 34, offspring, one of the other, and Allah is the all hearer, all knower. 3, 35, remember, when the wife of Imran said, O oh my Lord, I have vowed to you what, the child that, is in my womb to be dedicated for your services, free from all worldly work, to serve your place of worship, so accept this, from me. Verily, you are the all-hearer, the all-knowing. 3, 36. Then when she delivered her, child Mayim, Mary, she said, O my Lord, I have delivered a female child, and Allah knew better what she delivered, and the male is not like the female, and I have named her Mayim, Mary, and I seek refuge with you, Allah for her and for her offspring from Shaitan, Satan, the outcast. 337. So her Lord, Allah, accepted her with goodly acceptance. He made her grow in a good manner and put her under the care of Zachariah, Zachariah. Every time he entered Al-Mirab to visit her, he found her supplied with sustenance. He said, O oh Mayam, Mary, from where have you got this? She said, This is from Allah. Verily, Allah provides sustenance to whom he wills, without limit. 3, 38. At that time Zachariah, Zachariah, invoked his Lord, saying, O my Lord, grant me from you, a good offspring. You're indeed the all-hearer of invocation. 3, 39. Then the angels called him, while he was standing in prayer in Al-Mirab, a praying place or a private room, saying, Allah gives you glad tidings of Yahya, John, confirming, believing in, the word from Allah, i.e. the creation of, Yesa, Jesus, the word from Allah, B. And he was, noble, keeping away from sexual relations with women, a prophet, from among the righteous. 3, 40, he said, O my Lord, how can I have a son when I am very old, and my wife is barren? Allah said, Thus Allah does what he wills. 3, 41. He said, O my Lord, make a sign for me. Allah said, Your sign is that you shall not speak to mankind for three days except with signals, and remember your Lord much, by praising him again and again, and glorify him, in the afternoon and in the morning. 3, 42. And, remember, when the angels said, O Mayim, Mary, verily, Allah has chosen you, purified you, from polytheism and disbelief, and chosen you above the women of the, Alameen, mankind and jinns, of her lifetime. 3, 43, O Mary, submit yourself with obedience to your Lord, Allah, by worshipping none but him alone, and prostrate yourself, and Urkai, bow down etc., 
along with Arakian, those who bow down etc. 3. 44. This is a part of the news of the Gabe. Unseen, i.e. the news of the past nations of which you have no knowledge. Which we inspire you with. O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam. You were not with him. When they cast lots with their pens as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mayim, Mary. Nor were you with them when they disputed. 3. 45. Remember. When the angels said. O Mayim, Mary, verily, Allah gives you the glad tidings of a word. B. And he was. I.e., yes sir, Jesus. The son of Mayim, Mary, from him. His name will be the Messiah, yes sir, Jesus, the son of Mayim, Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter, and will be one of those who are near to Allah. 3. 46. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in manhood, and he will be one of the righteous. 3. 47. She said, O my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, So, it will be, for Allah creates what he wills. When he has decreed something, he says to it only, Be, and it is. 3. 48. And he, Allah, will teach him, Yes sir, Jesus, the book and al-Hikmah, i.e. the Sunnah, the faultless speech of the prophets, wisdom, etc., and the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel. 349. And will make him, yes sir, Jesus, a messenger to the children of Israel, saying, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, that I design for you out of clay, as it were, the figure of a bird, and breathe into it, and it becomes a bird by Allah's leave, and I heal him who was born blind, and the leper, and I bring the dead to life by Allah's leave. And I inform you of what you eat, and what you store in your houses. Surely, therein is a sign for you, if you believe. 3. 50. And I have come confirming that which was before me of the Torah, Torah, and to make lawful to you part of what was forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a proof from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. 3. 51. Truly. Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. Alone. This is the straight path. 3. 52. Then when, yes sir, Jesus, came to know of their disbelief, he said, Who will be my helpers in Allah's cause? al Hawarian, the disciples, said, We are the helpers of Allah. We believe in Allah, and bear witness that we are Muslims, i.e. we submit to Allah. 3. 53. Our Lord. We believe in what you have sent down, and we follow the messenger, yes sir, Jesus. So write us down among those who bear witness, to the truth i.e. la ilaha il Allah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. 3. 54. And they, disbelievers, plotted, to kill, yes sir, Jesus, and Allah planned too. And Allah is the best of the planners. 3. 55. And, remember, when Allah said, O, oh, yes sir, Jesus. I will take you and raise you to myself and clear you, of the forged statement that, yes sir, Jesus, is Allah's son, of those who disbelieve, and I will make those who follow you, monotheists, who worship none but Allah, superior to those who disbelieve, in the oneness of Allah, or disbelieve in some of his messengers, e.g. Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, yes sir, Jesus, Musa, Moses, etc. Or in his holy books, e.g. the Torah, Torah, the Injil, Gospel, the Quran, till the day of resurrection. Then you will return to me and I will judge between you in the matters in which you used to dispute. 3. 56. As to those who disbelieve, I will punish them with a severe torment in this world and in the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. 3. 57. And as for those who believe, in the oneness of Allah, and do righteous good deeds, Allah will pay them their reward in full. And Allah does not like the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers. 3. 58. This is what we recite to you. O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, of the verses and the wise reminder, i.e. the Quran. 3. 59. Verily, the likeness of, yes sir, Jesus, 
before Allah is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust. Then, he, said to him, B, and he was. 3, 60. This is, the truth from your Lord. So be not of those who doubt. 3, 61. Then whoever disputes with you concerning him, yes sir, Jesus, after all this, knowledge that has come to you, i.e. Yes sir, Jesus, being a slave of Allah, and having no share in divinity, say, O Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves, then we pray and invoke, sincerely, the curse of Allah upon those who lie. 3. 62. Verily. This is the true narrative, about the story of, Yes sir, Jesus, and, La Allaha Il Allah. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah, the one and the only true God, who has neither a wife nor a son. And indeed, Allah is the Almighty, the All-Wise. 3. 63. And if they turn away, and do not accept these true proofs and evidences, then surely, Allah is all aware of those who do mischief. 3. 64. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam. O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, come to a word that is just between us and you, that we worship none but Allah, and that we associate no partners with him, and that none of us shall take others as lords besides Allah. Then, if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims. 3. 65. O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, why do you dispute about Ibrahim, Abraham, while the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel, were not revealed till after him? Have you then no sense? 3. 66. Verily, you are those who have disputed about that of which you have knowledge. Why do you then dispute concerning that which you have no knowledge? It is Allah who knows, and you know not. 3. 67. Ibrahim, Abraham, was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a true Muslim Hanifa, Islamic monotheism, to worship none but Allah alone, and he was not of al mushrikun cv. 3. 68. Verily, among mankind who have the best claim to Ibrahim, Abraham, are those who followed him, and this prophet, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, and eight those who have believed, Muslims, and Allah is the wali, protector and helper, of the believers. 3. 69. A party of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, wish to lead you astray. But they shall not lead astray anyone except themselves, and they perceive not. 3. 70. O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians why do you disbelieve in the ayat of Allah, the verses about Prophet Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam present in the Tarot Torah, and the Injil Gospel, while you, yourselves, bear witness, to their truth. 3. 71. O people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians, why do you mix truth with falsehood and conceal the truth while you know? 3. 72. And a party of the people of the Scripture say, Believe in the morning in that which is revealed to the believers, Muslims and reject it at the end of the day, so that they may turn back. 3. 73. And believe no one except the one who follows your religion. Say, O Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Verily, right guidance is the guidance of Allah, and do not believe that anyone can receive like that which you have received, of revelation. Except when he follows your religion, otherwise they would engage you in argument before your Lord. Say, O Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All the bounty is in the hand of Allah. He grants to whom he wills. And Allah is all sufficient for his creature's needs, the All-Knower. 3. 74. He selects for his mercy, Islam and the Quran with prophethood. Whom he wills and Allah is the owner of great bounty. 3. 75. Among the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, is he who, if entrusted with a kantar, a great amount of wealth, etc., will readily pay it back. And among him there is he who, if entrusted with a single silver coin, will not repay it unless you constantly stand demanding, because they say, there is no blame on us to betray and take the properties of the illiterates, Arabs, but they tell a lie against Allah while they know it.
3, 76. Yes, whoever fulfills his pledge and fears Allah much. Verily, then Allah loves those who are al mutakan the pious. CV. 3, 77. Verily, those who purchase a small gain at the cost of Allah's covenant and their oaths, they shall have no portion in the hereafter, paradise. Neither will Allah speak to them, nor look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, and they shall have a painful torment. 3, 78. And verily, among them is a party who distort the book with their tongues, as they read, so that you may think it is from the book, but it is not from the book, and they say, this is from Allah, but it is not from Allah, and they speak a lie against Allah while they know it. 3, 79. It is not, possible, for any human being to whom Allah has given the book and al hukmah the knowledge and understanding of the laws of religion, etc., and prophethood to say to the people, be my worshippers rather than Allah's. On the contrary, he would say, be you Rabbaniyun, learned men of religion who practice what they know and also preach others, because you are teaching the book, and you are studying it. 380 nor would he order you to take angels and prophets for Lord's gods. Would he order you to disbelieve after you have submitted to Allah's will? Tafsir at Tabari. 3, 81. And, remember, when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, saying, Take whatever I gave you from the book and hikmah, understanding of the laws of Allah, etc. And afterwards there will come to you a messenger, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam confirming what is with you. You must, then, believe in him and help him. Allah said, Do you agree, to it? And will you take up my covenant, which I conclude with you? They said, We agree. He said, Then bear witness. And I am with you among the witnesses, for this. 3, 82. Then whoever turns away after this, they are the forsaken, rebellious, those who turn away from Allah's obedience. 3. 83. Do they seek other than the religion of Allah, the true Islamic monotheism worshipping none but Allah alone, while to him submitted all creatures in the heavens and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, and to him shall they all be returned. 3. 84. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam. We believe in Allah and in what has been sent down to us, and what was sent down to Ibrahim, Abraham, Ismi, Ishmael, Ashak, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, and Al-Azbat, the twelve sons of Jacob, Jacob, and what was given to Musa, Moses, Yesa, Jesus, and the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between one another among them and to him, Allah, we have submitted, in Islam. 3, 85, and whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him and in the hereafter he will be one of the losers. 3. 86. How shall Allah guide a people who disbelieved after their belief and after they bore witness that the messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, is true and after clear proofs had come unto them, and Allah guides not the people who are zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers. 3. 87. They are those whose recompense is that on them, rests, the curse of Allah, of the angels, and of all mankind. 3. 88. They will abide therein, hell. Neither will their torment be lightened, nor will it be delayed or postponed, for a while. 3. 89. Except for those who repent after that and do righteous deeds. Verily, Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 3. 90. Verily, those who disbelieved after their belief and then went on increasing in their disbelief, i.e. disbelief in the Quran and in Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, never will their repentance be accepted, because they repent only by their tongues and not from their hearts, and they are those who are astray. 3. 91. Verily, those who disbelieved, and died while they were disbelievers, the whole, Earth full of gold will not be accepted from any one of them even if they offered it as a ransom. For them is a painful torment and they will have no helpers. 3. 92. By no means shall you attain al bur piety, righteousness, etc. It means here Allah's reward, i.e. paradise, 
unless you spend, in Allah's cause, of that which you love, and whatever of good you spend, Allah knows it well. 3. 93. All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for himself before the Torah, Torah, was revealed. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, bring here the Torah, Torah, and recite it, if you are truthful. 3. 94. Then after that, whosoever shall invent a lie against Allah, such shall indeed be the Zalimun, disbelievers. 3. 95. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah has spoken the truth. Follow the religion of Ibrahim, Abraham, Hanifa, Islamic monotheism, i.e. he used to worship Allah alone. And he was not of al-Mushrikun. Cv. 3. 96. Verily, the first house, of worship, appointed for mankind was that at Baca, Maka, full of blessing, and a guidance for al alamin the mankind and jinns. 3. 97. In it are manifest signs, for example, the Makam, place, of Ibrahim, Abraham, whosoever enters it, he attains security, and Hajj, pilgrimage to Makkah, to the house, Kaaba, is a duty that mankind owes to Allah, those who can afford the expenses, for one's conveyance, provision and residence, and whoever disbelieves, i.e. denies Hajj, pilgrimage to Mecca, then he is a disbeliever of Allah, then Allah stands not in need of any of the, Alameen, mankind and jinns. 3. 98. Say, O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, why do you reject the ayat of Allah, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., while Allah is witness to what you do? 3. 99. Say, O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, why do you stop those who have believed, from the path of Allah, seeking to make it seem crooked, while you, yourselves, are witnesses, to Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam as a messenger of Allah and Islam, Allah's religion, i.e. to worship none but him alone, and Allah is not unaware of what you do. 3. 100. O you who believe. If you obey a group of those who were given the scripture, Jews and Christians, they would, indeed, render you disbelievers after you have believed. 3. 101. And how would you disbelieve, while unto you are recited the verses of Allah, and among you is his messenger, Muhammad Shalallahu alaihi wasallam. And whoever holds firmly to Allah, i.e. follows Islam Allah's religion, and obeys all that Allah has ordered, practically, then he is indeed guided to a right path. 3. 102. O you who believe. Fear Allah, by doing all that he has ordered and by abstaining from all that he has forbidden. As he should be feared. Obey him, be thankful to him, and remember him always, and die not except in a state of Islam, as Muslims, with complete submission to Allah. 3. 103. And hold fast, all of you together, to the rope of Allah, i.e. this Quran. And be not divided among yourselves, and remember Allah's favor on you. For you were enemies one to another, but he joined your hearts together, so that, by his grace, you became brethren, in Islamic faith. And you were on the brink of a pit of fire, and he saved you from it. Thus Allah makes his ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., clear to you that you may be guided. 3. 104. Let there arise out of you a group of people inviting to all that is good. Islam. Enjoining al-Maraf, i.e. Islamic monotheism and all that Islam orders one to do. And forbidding al-Munka, polytheism and disbelief and all that Islam has forbidden. And it is they who are the successful. 3. 105. And be not as those who divided and differed among themselves after the clear proofs had come to them. It is they for whom there is an awful torment. 3. 106. On the day, i.e. the day of resurrection, when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. As for those whose faces will become black, to them will be said, Did you reject faith after accepting it? Then taste the torment, in hell, for rejecting faith. 3. 
107, and for those whose faces will become white, they will be in Allah's mercy, paradise, therein they shall dwell forever. 3. 108. These are the verses of Allah. We recite him to you. O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam. In truth, and Allah wills no injustice to the Alameen, mankind and jinns. 3. 109. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And all matters go back, for decision, to Allah. 3. 110. You, true believers in Islamic monotheism, and real followers of Prophet Muhammad Shallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Sunnah, legal ways, etc., are the best of peoples ever raised up for mankind. You enjoin al Maruf, i.e., Islamic monotheism and all that Islam has ordained, and forbid al Munka, polytheism, disbelief and all that Islam has forbidden. And you believe in Allah. And had the people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians, believed, it would have been better for them. Among them are some who have faith, but most of them are al fasikin disobedient to Allah, and rebellious against Allah's command. 3. 111. They will do you no harm, barring a trifling annoyance. And if they fight against you, they will show you their backs, and they will not be helped. 3. 112. Indignity is put over them wherever they may be, except when under a covenant, of protection, from Allah, and from men. They have drawn on themselves the wrath of Allah, and destruction is put over them. This is because they disbelieved in the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah and killed the prophets without right. This is because they disobeyed, Allah, and used to transgress beyond bounds, in Allah's disobedience, crimes and sins. 3. 113. Not all of them are alike. A party of the people of the scripture stand for the right. They recite the verses of Allah during the hours of the night, prostrating themselves in prayer. 3. 114. They believe in Allah and the last day. They enjoin al maruf Islamic monotheism, and following Prophet Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, and forbid al munka polytheism, disbelief and opposing Prophet Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they hasten in, all, good works, and they are among the righteous. 3. 115. And whatever good they do, nothing will be rejected of them. For Allah knows well those who are al mutakan the pious, cv. 3. 116. Surely, those who reject faith, disbelieve in Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam as being Allah's prophet and in all that which he has brought from Allah. Neither their properties, nor their offspring will avail them aught against Allah. They are the dwellers of the fire, therein they will abide. Tafsir at Tabari, Volume 4, Page 3, 117. The likeness of what they spend in this world is the likeness of a wind which is extremely cold. It struck the harvest of a people who did wrong against themselves and destroyed it, i.e. the good deed of a person is only accepted if he is a monotheist and believes in all the prophets of Allah, including Christ and Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah wronged them not, but they wronged themselves. 3. 118. O you who believe! Take not as, your, vitana, advisers, consultants, protectors, helpers, friends, etc. Those outside your religion, pagans, Jews, Christians, and hypocrites. Since they will not fail to do their best to corrupt you. They desire to harm you severely. Hatred has already appeared from their mouths, but what their breasts conceal is far worse. Indeed we have made plain to you the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, if you understand. 3. 119. Lo! You are the ones who love them but they love you not, and you believe in all the scriptures, i.e. you believe in the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel, while they disbelieve in your book, the Quran, and when they meet you, they say, we believe, but when they are alone, they bite the tips of their fingers at you in rage. Say, perish in your rage. Certainly, Allah knows what is in the breasts, all the secrets. 3. 120. 
If a good befalls you, it grieves them. But if some evil overtakes you, they rejoice at it. But if you remain patient and become al mutakan the pious, CV 2-2, not the least harm will their cunning do to you. Surely, Allah surrounds all that they do. 3, 121. And, remember, when you, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, left your household in the morning to post the believers at their stations for the battle, of Uhud, and Allah is all hearer, all knower. 3, 122. When two parties from among you were about to lose heart, but Allah was their wali, supporter and protector, and in Allah should the believers put their trust. 3, 123. And Allah has already made you victorious at Bada, when you were a weak little force. So fear Allah much, abstain from all kinds of sins and evil deeds which he has forbidden and love Allah much, perform all kinds of good deeds which he has ordained, that you may be grateful. 3, 124. Remember, when you, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, said to the believers, Is it not enough for you that your Lord, Allah, should help you with 3,000 angels, sent down? 3, 125. Yes, if you hold on to patience and piety, and the enemy comes rushing at you, your Lord will help you with 5,000 angels having marks of distinction. 3, 126. Allah made it not but as a message of good news for you and as an assurance to your hearts. And there is no victory except from Allah, the Almighty, the All-Wise. 3. 127. That he might cut off a part of those who disbelieve, or expose them to infamy, so that they retire frustrated. 3. 128. Not for you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, but for Allah, is the decision whether he turns in mercy to pardons, the more punishes them, verily, they are the Zalaman polytheists, disobedience, and wrongdoers, etc. 3, 129. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. He forgives whom he wills, and punishes whom he wills. And Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 3, 130. O you who believe. Eat not Reba, usury, doubled and multiplied, but fear Allah that you may be successful. 3, 131. And fear the fire, which is prepared for the disbelievers. 3, 132. And obey Allah and the Messenger, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, that you may obtain mercy. 3, 133. And march forth in the way, which leads to forgiveness from your Lord, and for paradise as wide as are the heavens and the earth, prepared for al mutakan the pious, cv. 3, 134. Those who spend, in Allah's cause, deeds of charity, alms, etc., in prosperity and in adversity, who repress anger, and who pardon men. Verily, Allah loves al musanan the good doers. 3, 135. And those who, when they have committed fahashah, illegal sexual intercourse etc., or wronged themselves with evil, remember Allah and ask forgiveness for their sins. And none can forgive sins but Allah, and do not persist in what, wrong, they have done, while they know. 3, 136, for such, the reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens with rivers flowing underneath, paradise, wherein they shall abide forever. How excellent is this reward for the doers, who do righteous deeds according to Allah's orders. 3. 137. Many similar ways, and mishaps of life, were faced by nations, believers and disbelievers, that have passed away before you, as you have faced in the battle of Uhud. So travel through the earth, and see what was the end of those who disbelieved, in the oneness of Allah, and disobeyed him and his messengers. 3. 138. This, the Quran, is a plain statement for mankind, a guidance and instruction to those who are al mutakan the pious, cv. 3, 139. So do not become weak, against your enemy, nor be sad, and you will be superior, in victory, if you are indeed, true, believers. 
3. 140. If a wound and killing has touched you, be sure a similar wound and killing has touched the others. And so are the days, good and not so good, we give to men by turns, that Allah may test those who believe, and that he may take martyrs from among you. And Allah likes not the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers. 3. 141. And that Allah may test, or purify, the believers, from sins, and destroy the disbelievers. 3. 142. Do you think that you will enter paradise before Allah tests those of you who fought, in his cause? And, also, tests those who are as Sabirin, the patient ones, etc. 3. 143. You did indeed wish for death, Ash Shahada, martyrdom, before you met it. Now you have seen it openly with your own eyes. 3. 144. Muhammad, Shalallahu alaihi wasallam, is no more than a messenger. And indeed, many messengers have passed away before him. If he dies or is killed, will you then turn back on your heels, as disbelievers? And he who turns back on his heels, not the least harm will he do to Allah, and Allah will give reward to those who are grateful. 3. 145. And no person can ever die except by Allah's leave and at an appointed term. And whoever desires a reward in this world, we shall give him of it. And whoever desires a reward in the hereafter, we shall give him thereof. And we shall reward the grateful. 3. 146. And many a prophet, i.e. many from amongst the prophets, fought, in Allah's cause, and along with him, fought, large bands of religious learned men. But they never lost heart for that which did befall them in Allah's way, nor did they weaken nor degrade themselves. And Allah loves as Sabirin, the patient ones, etc. 3. 147. And they said nothing but, Our Lord, forgive us our sins and our transgressions, in keeping our duties to you. Establish our feet firmly, and give us victory over the disbelieving folk. 3. 148. So Allah gave them the reward of this world, and the excellent reward of the hereafter. And Allah loves al musnan the good doers. See the footnote of V. 3. 149. O you who believe. If you obey those who disbelieve, they will send you back on your heels, and you will turn back, from faith, as losers. 3. 150. Nay, Allah is your Ma'ala, patron, lord, helper and protector, etc. And he is the best of helpers. 3. 151. We shall cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve, because they joined others in worship with Allah, for which he had sent no authority. Their abode will be the fire and how evil is the abode of the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers. 3. 152. And Allah did indeed fulfill his promise to you when you were killing him, your enemy with his permission. Until, the moment, you lost your courage and fell to disputing about the order, and disobeyed after he showed you, of the booty, which you love. Among you are some that desire this world and some that desire the hereafter. Then he made you flee from him, your enemy, that he might test you. But surely, he forgave you, and Allah is most gracious to the believers. 3. 153. And remember, when you ran away, dreadfully, without even casting a side glance at anyone, and the messenger, Muhammad Shalallahu alaihi wasallam, was in your rear calling you back. There did Allah give you one distress after another by way of requital to teach you not to grieve for that which had escaped you, nor for that which had befallen you. And Allah is well aware of all that you do. 3. 154. Then after the distress, he sent down security for you. Slumber overtook a party of you, while another party was thinking about themselves, as how to save their own selves, ignoring the others and the Prophet Shalallahu alaihi wasallam, and thought wrongly of Allah, the thought of ignorance. They said, Have we any part in the affair? Say you, O Muhammad Shalallahu alaihi wasallam. Indeed the affair belongs wholly to Allah. They hide within themselves what they dare not reveal to you saying, if we had anything to do with the affair, none of us would have been killed here. Say, 
even if you had remained in your homes, those for whom death was decreed would certainly have gone forth to the place of their death. But that Allah might test what is in your breasts, and to Mahis that which was in your hearts, sins. And Allah is all knower of what is in your breasts. 3. 155. Those of you who turned back on the day the two hosts met, i.e. the battle of Uhud, it was Shaitan, Satan, who caused them to backslide, run away from the battlefield, because of some sins they had earned. But Allah, indeed, has forgiven them. Surely, Allah is oft forgiving, most forbearing. 3. 156. O you who believe, be not like those who disbelieve, hypocrites, and who say to their brethren when they travel through the earth or go out to fight, if they had stayed with us, they would not have died or been killed, so that Allah may make it a cause of regret in their hearts. It is Allah that gives life and causes death. And Allah is all seer of what you do. 3. 157. And if you are killed or die in the way of Allah, forgiveness and mercy from Allah are far better than all that they amass, of worldly wealths, etc. 3. 158. And whether you die, or are killed, verily, unto Allah you shall be gathered. 3. 159. And by the mercy of Allah, you dealt with him gently. And had you been severe and harsh-hearted, they would have broken away from about you. So pass over, their faults, and ask, Allah's, forgiveness for them, and consult them in the affairs. Then when you have taken a decision, put your trust in Allah. Certainly, Allah loves those who put their trust, in him. 3. 160. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. And if he forsakes you, who is there after him that can help you? And in Allah, alone, let believers put their trust. 3. 161. It is not for any prophet to take illegally a part of booty, gulul. And whosoever deceives his companions as regards the booty, he shall bring forth on the day of resurrection that which he took, illegally then every person shall be paid in full what he has earned, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. 3. 162. Is then one who follows, seeks, the good pleasure of Allah, by not taking illegally a part of the booty, like the one who draws on himself the wrath of Allah, by taking a part of the booty illegally, gulul, his abode is hell, and worst, indeed is that destination. 3. 163. They are in varying grades with Allah, and Allah is all seer of what they do. 3. 164. Indeed Allah conferred a great favor on the believers when he sent among them a messenger, Muhammad shalallahu alaihi wasallam, from among themselves, reciting unto them his verses, the Quran, and purifying them, from sins by their following him, and instructing them, in, the book, the Quran, and al-Hikmah, the wisdom and the sunnah of the Prophet shalallahu alaihi wasallam, i.e. his legal ways, statements, acts of worship, etc. While before that they had been in manifest error. 3. 165. What is the matter with you? When a single disaster smites you, although you smote, your enemies, with one twice as great, you say, from where does this come to us? Say, to them, it is from yourselves because of your evil deeds, and Allah has power over all things. 3. 166. And what you suffered, of the disaster, on the day, of the battle of Uhud when, the two armies met, was by the leave of Allah, in order that he might test the believers. 3. 167. And that he might test the hypocrites, it was said to them, Come, fight in the way of Allah or, at least, defend yourselves. They said, Had we known that fighting will take place, we would certainly have followed you. They were that day, nearer to disbelief than to faith, saying with their mouths what was not in their hearts. And Allah has full knowledge of what they conceal. 3. 168. They are, the ones who said about their killed brethren while they themselves sat, at home. If only they had listened to us, they would not have been killed. Say, Avert death from your own selves, if you speak the truth. 3. 169. Think not of those who are killed in the way of Allah as dead. Nay, 
they are alive, with their Lord, and they have provision. 3. 170. They rejoice in what Allah has bestowed upon them of his bounty, rejoicing for the sake of those who have not yet joined them, but are left behind, not yet martyred, that on them no fear shall come, nor shall they grieve. 3. 171. They rejoice in a grace and a bounty from Allah, and that Allah will not waste the reward of the believers. 3. 172. Those who answered the call of Allah and the Messenger, Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after being wounded, for those of them who did good deeds and feared Allah, there is a great reward. 3. 173. Those, i.e. believers, unto whom the people, hypocrites, said, Verily, the people, pagans, have gathered against you, a great army, therefore, fear them. But it, only, increased them in faith. And they said, Allah, alone, is sufficient for us, and he is the best disposer of affairs, for us. 3. 174. So they returned with grace and bounty from Allah. No harm touched them. And they followed the good pleasure of Allah. And Allah is the owner of great bounty. 3. 175. It is only Shaitan, Satan, that suggests to you the fear of his allia, supporters and friends, polytheists, disbelievers in the oneness of Allah and in his messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. So fear them not, but fear me, if you are, true, believers. 3. 176. And let not those grieve you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam who rush with haste to disbelieve. Verily, not the least harm will they do to Allah. It is Allah's will to give them no portion in the hereafter. For them there is a great torment. 3. 177. Verily, those who purchase disbelief at the price of faith, not the least harm will they do to Allah. For them, there is a painful torment. 3. 178. And let not the disbelievers think that our postponing of their punishment is good for them. We postpone the punishment only so that they may increase in sinfulness. And for them is a disgracing torment. 3. 179. Allah will not leave the believers in the state in which you are now, until he distinguishes the wicked from the good. Nor will Allah disclose to you the secrets of the gabe, unseen. But Allah chooses of his messengers whom he pleases. So believe in Allah and his messengers. And if you believe and fear Allah, then for you there is a great reward. 3. 180. And let not those who covetously withhold of that which Allah has bestowed on them of his bounty, wealth, think that it is good for them. And so they do not pay the obligatory zakat. Nay, it will be worse for them. The things which they covetously withheld shall be tied to their necks like a collar on the day of resurrection and to Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. 3. 181. Indeed, Allah has heard the statement of those Jews, who say, Truly, Allah is poor and we are rich. We shall record what they have said and their killing of the prophets unjustly, and we shall say, Taste you the torment of the burning fire. 3. 182. This is because of that evil, which your hands have sent before you. And certainly, Allah is never unjust to, his, slaves. 3. 183. Those, Jews, who said, Verily, Allah has taken our promise not to believe in any messenger unless he brings to us an offering which the fire, from heaven, shall devour. Say, Verily, there came to you messengers before me, with clear signs and even with what you speak of. Why then did you kill them, if you are truthful? 3. 184. Then if they reject you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, so were messengers rejected before you, who came with al bayanat clear signs, proofs, evidences, and the scripture and the book of enlightenment. 3. 185. Everyone shall taste death. And only on the day of resurrection shall you be paid your wages in full. And whoever is removed away from the fire and admitted to paradise, he indeed is successful. The life of this world is only the enjoyment of deception, a deceiving thing. 3. 
186. You shall certainly be tried and tested in your wealth and properties and in your personal selves. And you shall certainly hear much that will grieve you from those who received the scripture before you, Jews and Christians, and from those who ascribe partners to Allah. But if you persevere patiently, and become al mutakan the pious, cv. 2 to 2, then verily, that will be a determining factor in all affairs, and that is from the great matters, which you must hold on with all your efforts. 3, 187, and remember, when Allah took a covenant from those who were given the scripture, Jews and Christians, to make it, the news of the coming of Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam and the religious knowledge, known and clear to mankind, and not to hide it, but they threw it away behind their backs, and purchased with it some miserable gain, and indeed worst is that which they bought. 3. 188. Think not that those who rejoice in what they have done, or brought about, and love to be praised for what they have not done, think not you that they are rescued from the torment, and for them is a painful torment. 3. 189. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and Allah has power over all things. 3. 190. Verily, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of night and day, there are indeed signs for men of understanding. 3. 191. Those who remember Allah, always, and in prayers, standing, sitting, and lying down on their sides, and think deeply about the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you have not created, all, this without purpose. Glory to you. Exalted be you above all that they associate with you as partners. Give us salvation from the torment of the fire. 3. 192. Our Lord. Verily, whom you admit to the fire, indeed, you have disgraced him. And never will the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, find any helpers. 3. 193. Our Lord. Verily, we have heard the call of one, Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, calling to faith. Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins and remit from us our evil deeds, and make us die in the state of righteousness along with Al Abra, those who are obedient to Allah and follow strictly his orders. 3. 194. Our Lord, Grant us what you promised unto us through your messengers and disgrace us not on the day of resurrection, for you never break your promise. 3. 195. So their Lord accepted of them, their supplication and answered them, Never will I allow to be lost the work of any of you, be he male or female. You are members, one of another, so those who emigrated and were driven out from their homes, and suffered harm in my cause, and who fought, and were killed, in my cause. Verily, I will remit from them their evil deeds and admit them into gardens under which rivers flow, in paradise, a reward from Allah, and with Allah is the best of rewards. 3. 196. Let not the free disposal, and affluence, of the disbelievers throughout the land deceive you. 3. 197. A brief enjoyment, then, their ultimate abode is hell. And worst indeed is that place for rest. 3. 198. But, for those who fear their Lord, are gardens under which rivers flow, in paradise. Therein are they to dwell, forever, an entertainment from Allah. And that which is with Allah is the best for Al-Abra, those who are obedient to Allah and follow strictly his orders. 3. 199. And there are, certainly, among the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, those who believe in Allah and in that which has been revealed to you, and in that which has been revealed to them, humbling themselves before Allah. They do not sell the verses of Allah for a little price, for them is a reward with their Lord. Surely, Allah is swift in account. 3. 200. O you who believe, endure and be more patient than your enemy and guard your territory by stationing army units permanently at the places from where the enemy can attack you, and fear Allah, so that you may be successful.